Take a good look at both these selfies. If you think the picture on the left looks more proportionate and attractive, then get ready because today I'm going to reveal one tip that will make you look super attractive and your facial features will appear more proportionate and photogenic in pictures that are shot on phone. Stay with me till the end because there is a bonus tip that will make your selfies even more powerful. Get ready to take phone selfies so good that they look like they're shot by a professional. Welcome to Blush With Me. So in this video, I'm going to share one basic observation that I have made about phone photography. This is so simple and the change is so significant that you would be surprised that you did not know this one. And I have not seen anyone talk about it either. A lot of time when someone wants to take a close-up selfie, this is where your hand usually is. Your goal is to just keep yourself in the picture. You want to avoid background and you may think that you will get sharper images by holding the phone closer to you. Whatever the reason be, you want to take a close-up picture. So of course, you think of holding the phone closer to your face. But holding the camera far from your face is something that you think of when you want to take a wide picture, maybe of your outfit or when you want to take a picture with multiple friends or when you want to fit more people in one picture. The trick here is to pull the phone camera away from your face and take a wide shot. When the camera is away from your face, the lens does not distort your facial features. Now take a good look at both these images. In one, my whole face shape is distorted. It's much wider on top and, and it narrows on my chin. The eyes are kind of squinting while looking into the camera lens, which is really close to your face. Think of it if your finger is far from your face and you're looking at it versus when it comes closer to your eyes, your eyes squint. That is what happens to your eyes when you bring the camera very close to you, your eyes don't look very attractive, they start squinting. And then of course, my nose looks much bigger because it is the closest to the lens. So this is the thumb rule in photography. Any feature of you, even a body part, whatever is closest to the camera will always look the biggest. And when your nose comes so close to the lens and the lens is distorting your features, it makes your nose appear the biggest. Now take a look at the other image. Here my face looks a lot more symmetrical and proportionate between my forehead and chin and more realistic. Now this is close to what I look like in real life. Minus the acne spots that I've deleted. My eyes are not struggling and squinting to look in the lens so my eyeballs have the right distance between them and of course my nose looks much smaller and more proportionate to my face. So this is how simple and smart this self-photography trick is. That's not it. Get ready for the bonus tip that I had mentioned right in the beginning of this video. So it is very common to use the front facing camera lens to take selfies because you can see yourself. But the resolution on these pictures will never be as good as the rear facing camera. If you have seen my this video, you will know how to find your angles that work for your face. And once you know what angles work for you, it is easier for you to pose even with the rear camera. So don't be afraid to use the rear camera, stretch your hand out and take a wide shot of yourself. This way you will get a more proportionate, wide and really sharp pictures of yourself that you can now crop to a close-up and edit to add any kind of effect that you want, create the desired result that you choose to. I make my own Lightroom presets that makes editing really easy for me. Just with one click, I can add these presets to create any kind of filter, effect or mood that I want to add to my image. But there are a lot of other apps that I like using as well, like Snapseed and Lightroom Mobile, which are amazing as well. All of us are home and more than ever, we all have an opportunity to sharpen some skills that we always wanted to. Lot of requests have been coming in for more posing tips and self photography tips, body language tips and that is why I wanted to make this video and more such videos in future. Let me know what do you want to see next? Posing tips 
और सेल्फ फोटोग्राफी टिप्स इन द कॉमेंट्स बिलो सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हिट दैट लाइक बटन कॉपी द लिंक टू दिस वीडियो एंड शेयर इट विद ऑल योर फ्रेंड्स आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ प्ले लिस्ट फॉर पोजिंग एंड फोटोग्राफी वीडियोज प्लीज मेक श्योर यू वॉट सम ऑफ दोज वीडियोज by clicking on the link you see up there take a lot of amazing pictures and make your personal brand much stronger be it instagram or facebook or linkedin if you have a message to share it is easier with better pictures i am parmita chicago based image coach and photographer creating the right impression is possible through the image and perception you create about yourself if you want me to be your personal image coach and help you transform your image then please check out my website it's www.blushwithme.com you can see it on the screen right now it will also be in my description below so please check it out i would love to see you for a one on one individual session to help you become the best version of yourself i am so excited to see you all here every week because this is where you can blush with me